Hey, come on. So the crew I've chosen uh, is editor. Uh, one of the people I look up to in the, in his uh, Matty Lambert. He works with um, he works with sports distribution companies, and he'll also make short films on Vimeo. Uh, this is one of the things he's done. Maybe. <laughs> That was done for the one uh, photo shoot for just one cover for a magazine, which shows the, like, how much work actually goes into editing and filming. Um, I didn't know what route Matt Lambert took in to get into his industry, but um, the way that I took it in is by uh, just filming my own short films, editing them myself, and then sending them off and asking for opinions by like established editors and stuff. And then um, another way also is to try and work with uh, like accomplished and it is and see if they send any clips over that I could make my own edit of and see if they like that as well. Uh, and it appeals to me more than most of the crew roles because there's if you work with yourself there's not a lot of pressure and you can do what you like with it and there's no there's no like set thing to do to you. I don't know what's gone there. Uh, what it takes to be an editor is having a strong knowledge of technology, being able to work under a lot of pressure, and uh, having a lot of attention to detail, I think. Um, I was looking at other ways into uh, industry as well, but traditionally, starting as a trainee, second assistant, first assistant, and then editor, and then maybe work for yourself after when you finish that. And uh, on the way, I also found that when you work as a trainee, you may be able to film like, short films yourself. Um, in which you've got a chance to show off like what you can do in your type in your style and techniques and stuff. That's it. Good. Okay, any questions for Josh? Um, what kind of editing companies would you kind of apply to from training yeah? What is like sending my stuff off to? Uh, yeah, I mean like what what um, uh, no, what where would you apply to be a trainee? Would, would yeah. it be uh, No, not really. Like I said, I prefer to work in like freelance and stuff, so I'll probably send stuff off to like um, people like Matt Lambert, like he's done himself. That is, it's that's something which has only really come come about in the last five or ten years. The ability to do that, I mean, with yeah. the internet, with YouTube, with Vimeo, with you know, all the online forums, that's become a kind of very new, very contemporary you know, career path, but a totally valid one. There was a company, um, and I can't remember what their name is, but they, they did loads of, of the really innovative editing. The way they recruited an editor was they basically put a folder of footage live online and they said, go and make an edit, and our favourite edit gets the job. And I mean, the finished one was just magnificent, but what Josh is talking about is perfectly valid. And although he has on the left hand side there flagged up the kind of the very traditional route. I used to live with a guy who was a, a, a trainee and assistant editor, um, and that was very much his path into it. The path you've identified that you'd like to take is, is much more 
modern, and that's yeah. really only happened in the last couple of years. But it's also totally valid. Um, the only thing I, I had a bit of a problem there was I thought you were a little bit unrealistic about the expectations of, of working with other people. Because when you're there saying, you know, you get to do whatever you want, and you, just, you, you, you don't. As an editor, you're still working for a director, and the director will still have a sense of what they want it to look like. Yeah. But apart from that, yeah, very good, Josh. Thanks. Nice one. Thank you.